Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tech It Classic. So I'm actually recording the audio afterwards because guess what? I didn't record the audio the first time. Well, actually, I blame Bandicam. <laughs> I'm going to blame Bandicam. Um, I've been mining anyway. i got loads and loads of ore, as you can see in front of me. Um, but I've got the real big problem that obviously like we've got one macerator and uh, an electronic furnace. And the power that we're using currently is coal power, which is not great. So one of the things I want to do in this episode really is actually move forward to solar power. And and that's kind of like what this episode is really about. But we're starting to like rack up the materials. But even still, even still, we just we just need power. We need we need solid power. Um, so I thought it's about time. And, and solar is pretty good. Obviously, it only works in the daytime. Duh. But because I'm playing on single player, I can just go to sleep and then, then I'll get more power. Um... So I have no idea what I'm doing on the screen now. I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to go and show you guys <laughs> my extensive mine, which has got even bigger later later in the episodes. Actually, this is tiny compared to what it is um, later on. But basically, I've been mining lots and lots. The destruction catalyst is just a, a brilliant tool. Um, it's just awesome, really. And and yeah, you can see what I've been doing. I've been going along and just basically cutting a big hole. I don't know what I'm going to do with this empty space that's going to be underneath my base. It's because I've been mining quite, you know, low down, and I'm pretty much just cutting out the, these like the the bottom layers. Um, I've almost like gutted the entire well, I've not gutted the entire world. That'd be ridiculous. That's like infinite. Um, but yeah, um, one of the things I'm showing on the screen now is something called the gem of eternal density. So that gem will actually turn cobblestone into like iron ingots, and then it turns iron ingots into uh, gold ingots, and then it turns gold ingots into diamonds. It's really awesome. We're actually going to be making that in a later episode, but we need more EMC, and it's quite expensive, as you can see. We need two dark matter, and dark matter is actually um, Eternalis. I think it's called Eternalis fuel, um, like surrounding a block of diamond. So it just it takes up so much diamond, really, um, an absolute ton of diamond, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> but you can see the kind of problem that I've got is that when I'm doing this type of mining, I end up. Uh, just with too much stone, and I could really be using that stone. Um, another thing, instead of using the gem of eternal destiny, it, or destiny density, <laughs> gem of eternal density, is to actually kind of like do a different approach. Um, and the different approach. Oh crap! I just fell down. Um, the different approach um, to doing it is something like an ender pouch, and you have an ender chest on the other side, and the ender chest is actually. Uh, got something like a transposer on it and it's pulling items out uh, constantly into your system so say for example if it does match something like cobblestone it will send that straight into a condenser and then you, you, you kind of like save you save yourself a lot of stuff really um, you can see that kind of thing and like there's some diamonds down there as well which usually there's mobs down there there you go you can see the skeleton so I'll, I'll get those I actually get those diamonds at a later date um, when I kind of need them um, I've been trying to like survive without them uh, for some reason, I decided to just run out of creeper and come. Um, I don't know. Whatever. What am I doing? Go up. Go up. Go upstairs. Me. Go get building the thing. But yeah, I kind of wanted to to show you guys what I've been doing mining ways. I've I've mined out so much more in later episodes, like five episodes on, which is which is what I recorded without audio. I might want to add. <laughs> um, I've actually got got. So, I've just mined out the entire area. It's so stupid. It kind of is, but at least I, I do get the gem later on down the line. I can't remember which episode it is, but I do get that, so it's kind of cool. So yeah, I've just been shoving all my ore into a nice big chest, as you can see. There's actually not a lot of ore that you get in a trip, but at the same time, the Destruction Catalyst allows us to, in a couple minutes, pretty much fill up our inventory, and um, some of it is like ore, so maybe like, I don't know, a stack and a half of ore, or maybe a stack of ore, and that's just like any of it, really, so it's not too bad. Uh, but it does cost fuel, like the Eternalis fuel type stuff. So, yeah, I'm thinking about other other ways we can actually get EMC rather than mining. And obviously one of the ones is by building a quarry and having it automatically mine the... the, the well, just automatically mine, uh, essentially. Um, the chickens, I actually am going to be doing something very, very cool with the chickens in a later episode. I think it's really cool. Um, that, that episode's actually quite fun. I, I think it was quite fun. Again, I haven't recorded audio on it because I'm an idiot, but it's fine. It's fine. We can just do these voiceover type things, and I'm sure you guys find them really interesting. Hopefully. No? Maybe? Um, 
but yeah, one of the things I'm thinking about doing is actually having all of my solar panel down on the floor down there. So I actually, that's where I'm planning on building it. Um, and I'm going to have the power, like, piped up. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that oil still. I think I will collect all of that oil. Though I'm thinking of doing it in, like, water tower. So I might actually have, I might actually try and do it and make it look like a, a water tower on a, on a hill or something. I thought that might be like, a cool idea, really. It's a bit different, isn't it? So um, having a water tower, a bit will actually be filled with... Um, oil but I can't remember how much oil you can get because obviously you need to refine oil into fuel which is like yellow for some strange reason it's yellow anyway as you can see I'm looking at building some I don't know why I did this I went straight as soon as I went with power I decided to go straight for the glass fiber because I was just like well I don't want to upgrade my cables so <laughs> I spend like almost all my diamonds in this episode on cables <laughs> it's kind of a stupid idea but at the same time it means that later on I don't have to upgrade it, so meh. Um, and I probably could have just done the, I think they're like heavy duty cables or something like that. You can see I've just made way too much, <laughs> way too much glass. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Get some redstone out of it in a second. Um, so you can literally see me using up so much. I, I, I have actually used so many of the cables, but I can tell you that from five episodes on, um, that infrastructure is is pretty vital actually get actually actually spending the, the kind of like um, I guess the EMC or your money that you kind of think about all your resources and stuff early on is actually a good idea so um, I'm pretty happy with that so yeah but there we go see how little we actually get out of that 16 cables wow so it's a brilliant isn't it um, but it's, it's fine it'll do for now so what the hell am I doing oh I'm making more probably making more um, but yeah out of this series um Obviously, last episode was a uh, time lapsey type. Well, actually, no, it wasn't. Don't think it was actually. No, it wasn't the time lapse. That was that was late, way 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 earlier. Earlier. Um, I do get on to in this kind of like run, doing another one of the speed runs to finish off the house and actually having a roof. And actually, the the screenshot that you've kind of got or the thumbnail for this series has now become that house because I actually think it looks kind of cool. Don't know if people want a tutorial or not. Or not. It's very very simple. Like there's nothing really inside. And it is very, like, the inside is for mods, so, you know, like, I've got, like, a barn addition for all the houses and stuff, and, um, well, it's just, it's just very simple, really. But, yeah, pretty cool. Um, what else are we doing? Yeah, still, God, I'm just fighting around with loads of redstone and just converting stuff over to get the redstone. And smelting up some stuff, I think, which is a good way of doing things as well. Um, I do move over in a later episode as well all of the stuff in these chests because this the idea of this like bottom house was not actually to have all the stuff in it. Um, I've kind of decided to actually make this into a machine room. So I move all of the chests out and there's going to be a sorting uh, sorting machine. So we've got a sorting machine that automatically goes through and it smelts it. That's one of the reasons as well we're getting solar power and uh, we will be making probably some bat boxes in this episode as well so we go with the really really simple you know batteries essentially um one of the things that you'll find that i always do is like i usually make more than one of so if i'm like going to make some solar panels i'll make a couple and then i'll make a couple of um, other stuff as well oh but there you go you can see the first thing we need to make is a ton of iron furnaces so the step to all the generators is iron furnaces i think <laughs> from from what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm guessing I've decided to make four of them. So I'm going to make four solar panels, apparently. So that means I need to make four generators. Um, you can see I'm looking at the geothermal generator as well. I actually do make some geothermal generators later on as well. And I don't do it the way that you think I'm going to do it. I don't actually tie it into a lava source, as crazy as that sounds. Um, I might do that later on where we like put an, uh, what's it called, an anchor... There's like a chunk anchor thing a majiggy. I don't know if it works. Whenever I've tried to do stuff from the nether to my base in the normal world, I've never got it to work. But I know that Sips and Jin actually was able to do that in their series, and they were able to basically uh, use all of the lava in the nether and, and, and turn that into power, which I think is a brilliant idea. I mean, because you don't really care about destroying the nether's landscape because it's not that important. But, um... Yeah, uh, I, I, I've kind of tried to do that before, and it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't actually flow across. And I did use one of the anchor thingamajiggies. I don't know if I just did it wrong. It's prob probably you know, highly possible I did it wrong. 
to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, so I'm just pretty much at the minute in the game, just waiting for stuff to smelt as usual. And I keep on forgetting the RE battery formula. I think what I'm going to do in a later episode is like, and this will be like, like after what I'm thinking about now, so like five episodes on, is just, just off camera building about a, a billion. Like RE batteries and shoving them in a in a thing. Same with the copper cables. I've completely forgot just how many I actually need of these. It's it's crazy. It's just nuts. It's it's totally just bananas really. But I guess it's I guess that's part of Tech It is Tech It's all about or, or Tech It Classic for me was always about like building better machines or bigger machines and and to make those machines you forget like how many different steps and components you actually need to do. Uh, one of the comments actually said something awesome, which was um, try to build like a high, uh, what was it, a high uh, H HV um, solar farm thing, Magicies, and actually make a factory that makes them. And I, I'm actually really into this, interested in that idea. I think that's a really cool idea. So I might like like make a little factory somewhere. Um, so what you can do with Tech It Classic is you can actually um, like have machines that then do crafting so they'll they're like smelt raw components so we, we could do like um, a sorting machine I could just put a load of materials in it would then sort them into the right places um, we could use probably build craft pipes or something to uh, get the ratios right so say if you had four iron ingots and you needed three of them for one process and one of them for for, for one like part of the like material or whatever like you need to turn one of them into like I don't know, refined iron, so you needed that to go to a smelting thing, whereas the other three are used just in general. Um, you can do that with build craft really, really well. Um, but you can then have it go into the crafting. So maybe we're going to do that later. I think that's a really, really cool idea. And also, it's like working towards getting higher power, and then higher power. What we can do with that is turn that into what's called UU matter. I think it's called UU matter. It's something like that. It's this weird purple stuff, in, in facts at least, it's this purple stuff that you can make quantum armor out of. It sounds really epic. But basically, Union Matter uh, enables you to, from energy, which this is this is what, which I think is fair enough, if you've made, if you're like harnessing the power of the sun with solar panel panels and stuff, then you can turn that into matter, which can then turn that into like diamonds and stuff. And then you can turn those diamonds, obviously, you, you can use that for EMC. I think that's a fair way of doing it. Same with the way that I've done with the chicken eggs and stuff like that. I think that's a, a fair way of um, creating something from nothing and then using that as your EMC. Um, one of the things that I know in the comments people have asked before, like I've actually made a sort of battle on this episode finally, which is kind of cool. Uh, one of the things that people have asked before is if I'm going to use the blaze rod glitch. So what you can do with blaze rods, there's actually an EMC glitch where you can macerate a blaze rod and turn it into uh, blaze dust or blaze powder or something and that's actually worth more EMC than the blaze rod I think it's double actually I think they I think the blaze powder is the same as a blaze rod so when you macerate it you get twice the EMC back so then you just do an infinite loop where um, like you've got a condenser that's making blaze rods they get sucked out of that condenser, and then they go uh, into a macerator, and then half of those blaze rods go back. Uh, no blaze rods. Half of the blaze powder coming out of the macerator goes back into the condenser, which then restocks it, and then the other half can go into another condenser where it makes diamonds or something. Um, I'm not going to use that, but it's so awesome. Uh, I've done it before where I've made it high, like ridiculously high speed. Um, and I've had like four of them going all at the same time, and you could just get like ten diamonds a second or something stupid. You can do it really quick. It's actually faster. Well, I think it's faster than the EMC flower type things, uh, which are part of equivalent exchange, which you can actually make, essentially make EMC from air. Um, I know I was talking about like doing it with solar panel power, and and the reason I find that okay is because that still costs lots. Um, the way that the EMC flowers work is you have these uh, energy collectors and antimatter relays, they're called. They're really expensive to make, but once you've got them running, you can just go away from the PC for like an hour and you'll have a couple of diamonds and then you can make some more and it, it gets quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. And if you already have a lot of materials in the first place, 
you you can just make an absolute ton of them, and then you'll be able to replenish all your materials anyway, and it, it it's really cool. But it feels a little bit cheaty with with using the energy collectors, so I've decided not to go with that. Instead, I'm going to do the probably do the UU matter way, where it's taking an absolute ton of power, and it's taken me absolutely ages via this factory thing that somebody, uh, one of the subscribers actually did say, which is awesome, uh, an awesome idea, then we'll actually go with that way of doing things. Um, I don't know what I'm doing now, I'm guessing I'm making some, making more RE batteries again. And I've run out of rubber, which which is kind of like normal, so I'm guessing I'm going to macerate up some more, macerate up some more? No, I'm going to um, create some more, which makes sense. Um, and let's melt that up and then get some more. So I'm probably going to make some bat box. I think that's what, what's going to be next. So we've got like four solar panels. I think the plan is to get three bat boxes uh, just going. Which will give us... Well, bat boxes don't store a huge amount of power compared to some of the, uh, the other ones. But it means that our machines don't need the transformer upgrades. And what happens in Tech It Classic, at least, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will with all the industrial craft stuff, is if you you basically have a like high voltage going through, if you send it to a machine that can't accept that, the machine blows up, so that's not good. <laughs> so that's what we don't want to do. So um, that's why I'm going with bat boxes straight away, and also because we actually haven't got a, we've got a lot of materials in terms of ore, but we haven't got a lot of the the, the ore isn't all macerated and smelted up yet. So it's like it's really annoying. Uh, really is annoying. There we go. That is our bat boxes. So there we go. We've got the bat boxes now. We've got the glass fiber cables and we've got the solar panels, which means uh, probably head into bed and go outside and actually set these up and plug them in. I don't think I've got enough cables though because it doesn't seem like enough cables at all. We'll see. I've got wrenches as well. Yeah, because that's, that's useful uh, to change the direction and stuff. Uh, one of the other things I need to do, or do in a later episode, is actually get interdiction torches, because, my god, do we need them. Um, let's chop down this tree. Because it's really random here, and it'll block the sunlight um, at certain times of the day. I don't know what's the best, where the best place to put these is. Is? Ah, oh, I don't know. Whatever. Um, the other thing I want to do is actually do some wind power as well, so I'm going to try and go with, like, natural power, again, for the, the U matter stuff. And I actually was thinking about making... Uh, some sort of windmill that looks like a windmill. I don't know if I'll make it like medieval or like modern. I, d I don't know. We'll see. I was just trying the destruction catalyst and the leaves. <laughs> for some, Just to see if I could pick up the leaves from it. But it didn't work that way. Right. So what I'm going to do now, I think, is sort out the bat boxes and get them pointing in the right direction. Um, so with industrial craft, for those that don't know, uh, if you look in this direction, then the output will be towards you. And it'll be green, so you get this like green blob on it, which means that power is coming out. All of the rest of them are, you can put power going into it. So, yeah, it's nice and simple. I think I cut through the cliff as well. So one of the things I like to do is like hide uh, as much as I can, really. So in this case, I'm like following up the stairs, really, and, well, not really following up the stairs. I'm going to go straight up, because I don't have that many cables to follow the stairs exactly. I don't really need to. Um... So yeah, it's just going to go like up, and this was a real pain, I think, to, to actually cut into. Um, yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, so, yeah, I'm thinking about doing wind power. I don't know if I'll do, uh, like, a, a modern wind built mill, like one of the white ones, or if I'll do, like, a, a Dutch style. Well, I don't know if I'm going to do a Dutch style, because I don't think this is, this is before, like, hay and stuff, so. And, like, coloured wood slabs and stairs. So it's weird. Um. So we'll see what we'd actually do with that. Here we go. Let's connect up the power. Um, hopefully I'm going to put down the solar panels in a minute because I need to. And I've got a feeling that I actually picked these up because they, they're in the wrong place. Yeah. Because I, I forgot to put cables underneath because I, I kind of like putting the cables underneath uh, and joining each of them. So there we go. That's what I do. Plug that in there. Plug that in there and plug that in there. And you see that I've only got four cables now, which is really... Not a lot. But with our four little solar panels, which it didn't take too much of our resources to do, that will at least power all of these. Well, I say power all of them. It will charge up one of them. That one will get full. Then the others will start to fill up, which is quite good. So they will get there eventually. So it's kind of... 
yeah, there's just enough power ready for us at the minute. Um, with those two machines that we've got, it's it's plenty of power, especially having the bat boxes. Three bat boxes for those two machines is uh, more than enough to go through the entire night with them having them on, as long as they don't have any upgrades. So it's the upgrades that are the... That, um, especially overclock and upgrades just like completely drain your power massively. It's another reason I want to have like super super amounts of power and solar power and th that's why the factory idea when that go dude commented it and he knows who he is or she um it's just an awesome idea really it really is right so now i need to find some stuff to smelt down and you can see me just like throwing away all my junk really <laughs> essentially well i say junk but it's not really and getting absolutely nothing out for it but luckily we've got uh no charcoal which is why I'm using the alloy furnace currently as a like dumping bin for charcoal. Uh, it seems to work, so it's fine. Alright, so... Not got a lot. I need more diamonds, because I need diamonds. And I've got quite a few, but... Oh yeah, I've got tons of uranium. I've actually got even more uranium, so I don't know what I'm going to do with uranium yet. Not sure if I'll make a nuclear generator or not. I have had them blow up on me in the past, so it's... It's one of those, isn't it? It's like, do you... I mean, it's it's good power. Like, if you do it... You can do it the safe way. Or you can do it the slightly less safe way that has a danger of blowing up. But actually gets you a ton more power. So I don't know. I think I'll do it the safe way. If I'm going to do it, I'll do it the safe way. And I might even have... Now, I can't remember. I don't think on this version you can have wireless power... No, I don't think you can, but you can have wire obviously with ender chests you can you can send uh like lava, for example, if you have a process in the nether, you should be able to like send the lava by putting it into buckets and then send the buckets across. Um and then you can send the buckets back via another ender chest type thing. But I don't think you can obviously do that with um actual power. I know you can in other mods that I've played with. Um <clears throat> but but not actually this version of Tech it, you can't do it in, which is a shame, but at the same time, it kind of makes you uh, have to be a little bit more inventive. Yes, that's kind of correct, I would say. And yes, you can just see me cutting through the bottom to try and figure it out. And guess what? We're probably not going to have enough cables still. This is why it was just <laughs> it was so expensive. Because if I'm going to upgrade the cables, I might as well get rid of these copper cables down here as well. And just knock those out. But the thing is I can use those for other stuff like RE batteries, which just goes on forever. Look, I've only got eight cables. That is not going to stretch. I don't know if I've realised it yet, but hopefully I have. Should have done. Um, uh, later on as well, I'm going to actually make this into a little room, so there's going to be like a power storage room underneath the actual main building, because although I've got the bat boxes outside and they do seem to work for now, it's not the most... Well, I kind of like like say in the night time I want to check how much power I've got, and and if I need to start making more solar panels, you kind of like need to know how to gauge it. And if you're just running on the seat of your pants with power and you're just about ticking over, then that's not great. But you want to know that you've got plenty and your boxes are, uh, you know, your your batteries are fully charged and but you're not wasting any as well. Um, you know, it's not like you're just you you're riding on like 150% constantly and every time you use up power like four different solar panels are are generating that power instantly like that would be really good but you kind of want to know that it's been stored and if, if it's if you've got excess you want to use it to for example use it in the mass fabricator and actually make uh uu matter and, and stuff like that that's, that's my plan anyway is to siphon off the excess power and i don't know how i'm going to do it yet i might i don't know i think i'm just going to have lots and lots of I'm probably going to split my power into two, so I have quite a lot of battery type things. MS, what are they called? MSUs? MSUs? I think that's MS something used. The big ones, anyway. The the final stage batteries. Lots of those, like probably about 20 of them, dedicated purely for all my um, automatic smelting machines, which will be macerators and um, iron furnaces, uh, not iron furnaces, electric furnaces. Um, and have those like set up just to completely, you know, just have superpower and have lots and lots of upgrades and, you know, high voltage upgrades, energy upgrades, 
transformer upgrades and also lots and lots of the um, overclockers, overclocker upgrades as well, attaching those onto it. And then I might have like a second chain, so because um, I got to make sure it's not plugged in, so like you know it's not sending out to the uh, mass fabricator. I need it almost like separate. Uh, but no matter what, it'll be pulling power, won't it? Hmm. I don't know if there's any way to like properly channel. I kind of want to know that my main machines aren't suffering because I'm using a mass fabricator. And there's kind of like two ways I could do that. Really, is is have so much power that it doesn't even matter. Or or I just have like dedicated power generation to that. Mm, I don't know. Am I looking at the gem of eternal density? I think I am. Am I really looking at making that now? <laughs> My god. If I am, I, I haven't got enough materials yet for it. Well, I've got the eternal ice fuel. I've got enough of that, but... It's like whether you turn that into it so that you can then get the gem to then go mining more, which means you need more fuel. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking at this stage, but I'm obviously out of <laughs> out of power. And um, yeah, not so good. Um, I think I'm just looking at the upgrades now as well. Uh, stuff like overclockers and things like that. And cooler cells. I completely forgot about this. Like, uh, especially with the cooler cells because. I forgot that you make a water cell and then you actually have to use an extractor on it. And I haven't even built an extractor, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll be part making that in a later episode and then end up going, Ah, oh, damn it. And then deciding to have to, to get all the infrastructure in to make this into a machine room or crafting room. I guess crafting room is a bit of a better um, description, I guess. And all that stuff, so... Yeah, but we, we'll get there. Um, so yeah, apparently I am looking at making... A overclocker upgrade because now I've got more power and I've got it plugged in. I'm guessing. Um, <laughs> I never got around to it. It's so funny. You'll see. So all of this crafting that I'm doing right now, I I just end up dumping. Well, I don't dump those materials. I put them all in a chest. So all of the stuff that I've got for it, the water cells, I just put it in a chest for now. I'm I'm gonna go back to it. Probably gonna make an overclocker for every machine and and later in uh, in episodes I've even got all the the sorting machines and macerators and. Uh, for each ore set up, so they've got their own chain, um, so it kind of like balances it across all of these different machines and stuff. But I've still not got the um, uh, the overclocker upgrade, so I probably need to think next time I do a recording session with audio. Yeah, that's crazy as that sounds. Um, <laughs> need to actually think about putting in some overclockers and probably, but actually no. First, before I do the overclockers, I probably need more power because in the later episodes I've got. 10 machines underneath my sorting machines, so I've got 5 macerators and 5 electronic furnaces. So, that's quite a lot, actually, uh, if you think about it power-wise. Um, I have got a couple more solar panels, though, just normal ones at the minute, and I've got a geothermal generator. Actually, I've got about 5 geothermal generators, crazily powered by eggs. So, eggs are going into a condenser, which are making lava cells. Those lava cells can then get sent to... Um, all these geothermal generators and it, it seems to be creating way 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 more than enough power so it's, it's making an absolute ton of power um, so much so that I think I can probably make more geothermal generators from eggs it's, it's, it's amazing but I think once I I get all the bigger power storage units and get the transformer upgrades most importantly get the transformer upgrades I think once that's all kind of like sorted then then we'll probably end up seeing that we don't we don't have that capacity. It's just because we don't have any batteries and and my machines aren't using up all of that energy. Um, that that is, uh, it looks like I could make more, but I can't. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. But you'll see that in a later episode anyway. It's it's like turning eggs into lava. It's amazing. Right. So wait until I realise that I can't craft it. This is this like the <laughs> golden moment. Of stupidity, really, is just like wow. Figured out that I cannot craft what is overclocker upgrades because I've got the wrong cells. See, these are water cells, and it's coolant cells that I need. And look, when I put in the last one, nothing. I can't figure out why for a little while. <laughs> and I have a look at it again, and it's coolant cells, and then I realise, oh dear, I got to put them in an extractor. 
which I don't have yet. So, um, yeah, we're going to be making those at a later date anyway. But, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this episode, which was quite a long episode. But we've made some solar panel we power, we've made some bat boxes. So we've actually got some renewable energy for once, rather than relying on uh, going mining, getting EMC, and then turning some of that EMC into charcoal so we can use it to start up a generator. And it's just like the, f the start, really, of getting uh, free electricity we can use to, to, to make more EMC stuff, really, which is kind of cool. Um, but as you can see, like one of the things we want to do is get a low voltage solar array which is six of those uh, eight of those around uh, lv transformer but before we do that we need to get all the transformer upgrades in our machines to stop them from blowing up anyway guys thank you very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have then comment like subscribe there's going to be more going on the next couple of episodes i will be doing voiceovers just because i have to but um it shouldn't be too bad so thanks for watching guys see you on the next one